In addition to a text box, you can also insert a shape. You would go to Insert, Shape, and you can see there are shapes, arrows, callouts, and equations. These tools are also available on the toolbar by clicking on the Shapes icon, and you will see you have the same menus for shapes, arrows, callouts, and equations. Once you select a shape, use your mouse to draw the shape. It will default to a standard color, but you can change the color by coming up here to the bucket and adjusting the color. You will see this has a very small border, which can be adjusted in weight as well as in color. If you don't want a border at all, come to the color and select transparent, and it will disappear altogether. The great thing about shapes is if you double click on them, they become a text box. Once you add your text, you will see that you actually have some flexibility with how your text can be presented on your Google Drawing. To format this text, you do the same thing that you had done for a text box. Simply highlight with your mouse or use Control A on your keyboard if you're on a Windows PC or Command A if you are on a Mac. Once your text is highlighted, you can format in the same way that you would format it for a text box, changing the font style, the font size, as well as the ability to bold, italicize, and underline. You can also change the color and highlight if you want to. Once you've inserted a shape, you can also resize it using any of the squares on the perimeter by simply dragging them inward and outward to make changes to its dimensions. Using this tool will also allow you to rotate the shape. Once your cursor changes to the plus sign with arrows on all four sides, this is an indication that you can move your shape to reposition it. And that's how you can use shapes as text boxes on your Google Drawing.